We are now at the Thrifty and Nifty in Tupper Lake, New York. And this is like the best thrift store that there is. And we're gonna show you around. Are you having fun? I am. I have Hannah with me. I'm holding her in the little snuggly. And then look at this. I just noticed that they have a snuggly right here, so. And vacuum cleaner bags. I have to check for the Kirby's because uh, we are always running on vacuum cleaner bags because we uh, we go through them so fast. Let's see, Kirby. They have a lot of Eureka. Running through the soul like the soul. You're welcome. And we still have a Billy Big Mouth Bass for one dollar. And if you can't catch anything, you can uh, buy that and blow it up and put it on your wall. Most of the clothing here is one dollar, and that is really a good price. And uh, they even have wedding dresses over there. And Janelle's checking out the cookbooks. And we are actually uh, in the middle of writing a cookbook, <laughs> so we're trying to get a few ideas. The kids would love this one. You know why? Why? Because there's a picture for every recipe. The recipes are easy, and the kids eat with their eyes. Right. <laughs> I love maps, and if I didn't already have two of those, oh, wow. I would get one. Yeah, I don't. But I already have two, so yeah. I don't need a third. No. That's a good one. Okay, we'll get that. Kids love the workbooks. Yes, they do. Yeah. And if you need ice skates, this is the place to come for ice skates. They always have a lot of those around. I don't think we need any ice skates though, do we? No, I don't think so. And the kids always change shoe sizes, but I think we're good right now. And for next year. And some more. They'll keep our kids busy for a little while. And I found the socks. Found the socks. Good. Yes, I did. They're right over here. And three nursing shirts. Those are going in the cart too. How much were those? I presume they're a dollar a piece. There's no wow. price Right. I'll tell you, I pay a lot more than a dollar for them. You getting more of those? Well, this is this is the wrong size, but I love this brand. Uh-huh. Okay, I gotta show you something, guys. Look at this. Right there. She's sleeping. That's what we like. And they can be calm and happy and peaceful while we're shopping. <laughs> She's so easy going. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. And over here the cart's starting to get full. I'm trying not to get too much. Yeah. Well, Look her. at all the little shoes. Reality is though you don't really use shoes with kids. No. Well, I don't. No, look at that. Right there, bare feet. Of course we do in the winter time. Right, but, but not. she's not going to be little in the winter. Right. And the socks. Right there. Socks. socks. Do they have Daniel size though? I don't know. Do they have a whole bunch of socks? Hey, this song, um, they always played this when I was in uh, elementary school. Really? Yeah. I've never heard it before. Yeah. So I guess we'll get this. Yeah, in gym class, Mrs. Signor played it. And I it. think what we'll do is we'll just leave it at the... Okay, yes, Mary, Mary's birthday is coming up while we're at camping, so she, we bought that to uh, make the ice cream cake. Wow, we need lids. Yeah. We always like looking at the kitchenware's department too. You never know. I mean, you think yeah. about all the all the 
time we spend in the kitchen. Right. Of course we're going to be interested in the kitchen stuff. Ice cream maker. Right. Janelle always has to check out the yarn and the sewing stuff. Anything good? Yes, I do remember that. We found a lot of yarn last time. So for everything that we got, it was only $20, which is amazing. Their new location isn't quite as exciting as their other location. You know, that could but be because they just moved in. Yes. Yeah, they very well could, uh, um, it, it could be a temporary thing. I would guess they liquidated a lot of their stuff to move to this new location, so they could still be building up their, their supply here. So it wasn't quite as exciting as it ha was at their other location, but still, we got some amazing deals on a bunch of stuff. And I, did you, did they see everything we got? Uh, not yet, we'll show them that later. I'll show you guys that when we get back to the campsite and show you all of our goodies. I will put their new location in the description below and if you're in the Tupper Lake, Saranac Lake region, check this out. This is a great place to come and find some bargains and it's just a, it'll make for a fun afternoon. All right, I have everything laid out so I can show you guys what we got at the Thrifty Nifty. Really, really pleased with what I found and how much I paid. So my time was pretty limited because of Hannah, but for everything that you see here, this cost me $20. And I can tell you, one pair of the pants would be $20. So I was really excited about this. Brand new, or almost brand new, I can't tell. These pair of sneakers were $3. I mean, what a steal. So the boys will definitely use those. I bought this silicone gummy tray because I want to make elderberry gummies. And I thought this was the perfect thing for me to give it a try. I don't know how it will work, but stay tuned. You should be seeing that here in the next couple weeks. I also found two Speedo swimsuits. This one looked completely new. This one may have been used one or two times. I mean, fabulous condition, a dollar a piece, amazing. And then, of course, it wouldn't be complete without some books for the kids. So getting ready for school, I do not think she charged me a dollar for each because when I calculated this out, we were not at a dollar each. So I'm not sure how she figured the prices out. This is for second grade. We have first grade. I am actually using this with two of the girls this year, but I didn't have first grade. So that would be Lillian, and I thought that would be perfect for her. And then for Daniel... This was Thomas and it had, some of it's done, but it had tons and tons of stickers. And up camping, you need activity books for kids. And they had already done the ones that I brought them. So I said, <laughs> the price was right. This math readiness will probably be for Daniel. Lily, I think it's a little too easy for Lillian at this point, but Daniel knows how to count and this would be something fun for him to do. And then I found this book, Wild Science Activities That Bridge Outdoor Exploration with Classroom Science. I assume this was probably from the Wild Center. If you're not familiar with the Wild Center, it's a really beautiful museum. We went there last year, and I'm guessing this was one of the books there. I can't tell you for sure, but I thought that looked really exciting. And then this was free on the way out. We saw this. Algebra Survival Guide. I know nothing about it, but I do have a young man that's going to be going into algebra soon, and I thought this may be right up his alley. I'm not sure. So, price was right. Thought we'd give it a try. Now, these three shirts here are actually nursing shirts, which I love nursing shirts. They are... I don't have a brand on them, but I presume they probably came from Amazon. They're just size medium, and they're long sleeve. Very soft cotton for a dollar a piece. You can't go wrong. That's all I can say. I found this skirt, very nice, dollar. I found a pair of these pants. These are Izod's, a dollar. This was another Izod Golf skirt, one dollar. I didn't know this brand here ingredients but really nice dress shorts 
then these were definitely worn but I wanted to try them because they are by Duluth Trading Company and I like a lot of Duluth the looks of their clothing I have not splurged on buying any of them because they tend to be more pricey but for a dollar I wanted to give them a try to see how they work for the great outdoors then a pair of uh, more like long capris by Chadwick's I don't know the brand and then a st. John Bay I love st. John's Bay and those are just another pair of capris I also bought a 9x13 pan because I am doing a cake for an ice cream cake for Mary's birthday while we're up here and I forgot my 9x13 pan so for $1 I bought the cake pan. I'm going to leave it here in the cabin. Other folks can use it because there's like no kitchen gear here. If folks use it, that's great. If it's gone next year, somebody needed it, that's fine too. But that was included in that haul. So that's everything we got. $20 even. I think we did fabulous with it. I'd love to go back and see what kind of goodies I can find. I don't think I'm going to have time, but if you're in the upper north regions of New York, Saranac, Tupper Lake, this particular, this the Thrifty Nifty is located in Tupper Lake, you need to check it out. Great place, and I will put a link down in the description for last year's trip to the Thrifty Nifty, and you can see all the goodies we found last year. And I would love to hear if you come here, let me know in the comments below, and let me know what kind of treasures you found. You can also share over on Instagram, as always, I hope you are having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.